Speed ramping is an editing technique that enables us to gradually speed up or slow down our media, creating a smooth transition between different playback speeds. This technique is used in many ways across film, television and the social media landscape to add depth to the storytelling we see on screen, whether that's to draw attention to key moments, create a heightened sense of emotion or simply to produce eye-catching visual effects that keep audiences engaged. In LumaFusion 2.0, speed ramping is available alongside enhanced keyframing through a one-time in-app purchase. You can access these features by tapping the Ease Editor icon within the Speed and Reverse Editor or through the What's Happening panel. To speed ramp a clip in LumaFusion, double tap the clip on the timeline and open the Speed and Reverse Editor. When editing in landscape, you'll notice the speed slider on the right side of the screen, which allows you to alter the playback speed of your clip, which is set to 1x by default. This is normal speed, but can be changed by dragging the slider left and right. Without adding keyframes, a change to the speed slider will affect the entirety of your clip. Your clip will play back at constant speed to the value you set here. However, to speed ramp and therefore gradually transition from one speed value to another, you'll need to use keyframes to create two or more set points within your footage. To do this, position your playhead at the point where you want to initiate a speed change. So let's say in this example, we want the clip to play at regular speed up until it gets to this point here. Then I tap the animation icon to turn keyframe animation on and simultaneously position my first keyframe, locking the speed at 1x. Then I move the playhead to the point where I want the clip to reach its slower speed and add a keyframe by adjusting the speed slider until it reaches, say, a quarter of its original speed at this frame. Take note here of this white tick mark. This mark indicates the slowest speed you can bring the clip down to while maintaining smooth slow motion. Going below this threshold will cause LumaFusion to duplicate frames from your clip on the timeline, which leads to an undesirable choppy visual effect in your video. So with this in mind, it's important to remember that when looking to speed ramp a clip, you need to be working with media in a higher frame rate than that of your project. We can see here that bringing the speed slider to 0.25 is above my white tick mark, so I know I can bring the speed down and achieve that smooth slow motion. As you can see, this action will automatically place a second keyframe on the clip, creating the speed ramp between the two set points. The speed of this clip is decelerating between 1x speed to 1 quarter speed, changing gradually as the clip plays between the two keyframes. If you need to adjust the timing of a speed change, you can easily move keyframes by tapping and holding them and then dragging them left and right along the timeline. To get really precise, use the nudge icons that appear to move keyframes one or ten frames at a time. To give your footage a more natural feel, LumaFusion will automatically apply easing to your speed ramp, which is demonstrated in the Ease Editor here. Easing refers to the rate of change in value between keyframes, where, when applied to speed ramping, we're able to accelerate or decelerate the speed change between keyframes. On this ease graph, the vertical y-axis represents speed, while the horizontal x-axis represents the duration of the clip. This gives you a clear view of how the speed is shifting over time. So unlike a linear speed change where the speed would reduce by the same amount each frame, we can see here in the ease graph that easing allows the rate of change to unfold more organically, in this case moving out of the first keyframe slowly before speeding up and then gradually slowing that rate of change into the second keyframe. If you wish to modify the easing effects, you can adjust the purple and green sliders at the bottom of the ease editor. The purple slider controls the rate at which the speed changes into a keyframe, while the green slider controls the rate out of a keyframe. Adjusting these sliders gives you control over how quickly or slowly the speed transitions occur. Sliding to the right makes for a faster transition closer to the keyframe, while sliding to the left makes for a slower rate of change closer to the keyframe. Dragging the green slider 
all the way to the left will hold the initial speed until it reaches the second keyframe, where the speed will instantly change. This approach is useful for moments that require a sudden and dramatic speed shift rather than a gradual one. If you're short on time, tap here to access the Ease Presets menu. The options within can be instantly applied to the rate of change into and out of your selected keyframes. And if you're feeling stuck with your speed ramp altogether, LumaFusion has created a library of pre-made speed ramp templates for you to try, each named to evoke a specific motion like valley, drop or jump. See how these differently affect the look and feel of the same clip as they're applied. Notice each time I tap a new preset, the new preset selected will replace any existing keyframes previously on the clip here, giving you a fresh starting point for further adjustments. From here, you can alter the position or value of a keyframe or delete it altogether by selecting and tapping the blue remove keyframe icon. Have fun experimenting here and add as many keyframes as you like to create speed ramps that elevate the overall pacing and energy of your video. When you're happy, you can even save your custom speed ramps as presets, ensuring that your favorite speed ramps are always just a tap away to place on other pieces of media. So dive in, explore the possibilities, and have fun experimenting with this exciting new feature in LumaFusion 2.0.